Okay, my three phase rotary phase converter is completed. This is it. This is a huge motor. Uh, give you an idea. The shaft is, you know, probably an inch and a half in diameter. This motor weighs about 350, 400 pounds. Something like that. Anyways, it's a 15 horsepower three phase motor. Any kind of motor, electric motor, is a generator. If you if I rotate this shaft, it creates electricity. If I apply electricity to it, it becomes a motor and turns things. So what basically this does is it takes 220 voltage and it runs out of three phases. Basically the way your breaker panel works is there's 120 and 120 voltage coming in from each one of those lines. When you take voltage from just one breaker, you have 120 volts. If you grab voltages from two breakers, you see these ones with doubles? Those become 220 or 240, okay? So it's 240 volts. So basically, we're gonna take 240 volts and we're gonna send it to that motor. And once the motor's running, it's gonna generate a third leg, a third phase, because we need three phases. So look at it as a 120, a 120, and a 120, all three lines. So we end up with a three-phase system, which is you can't get in a residential situation. So how does this work? Let's describe this panel here. What are these components? What this is right here is a uh, start capacitor. And over here is a set of run capacitors. There's five of them. This is a contactor. Basically, it's a big giant relay that's energized. See that twisted yellow and white wire? Through a 120-volt coil. So when you apply 120 volts to that, those two wires right there, it slams down with electromagnet 35 pounds of force and engages a set of contacts that lets electricity travel from this side to this side. In this case, electricity is going to go this way, 220 through the bottom of the contactor. It's going to go to the motor. It's going to come down to the motor, rotate the motor, and then there's a third leg that comes up. You see this top leg over here? That's the generated leg, the three phase. So it's gonna carry that third phase back down this wire, okay? And it's gonna go down into this box and drop out the bottom. And then this is that same green wire up there. This green wire is this green wire. Then what I've done is I've come over here and I've grabbed 220 and I've come out of the breaker panel down to another sub brake panel, okay? And then I'm gonna get my other two legs off that 220. Basically, I parallel it up right there. You can see two sets of wires. That becomes phase one, phase two, and then the third one that's generated by the motor is phase three. All of these breakers, what they do is they isolate each one of the circuits. This breaker is a safety setup for this coil up here, so I can Make sure that if something happens to this coil and it shorts out, I can kill that coil because the 220 voltage has got a breaker there in between it and the main panel. This main breaker makes sure that if these wires short out somewhere in here and it overloads 120 amps, that one opens up. This 60 amp breaker here, what it's going to do, it's going to make sure that uh, this whole system is protected. So if anything happens between this wire and this breaker panel, it's protected. And I've also got this switch on its own 120 volt system because remember I told you that coil works off 120 volts? Well that's the 120 volts, the single leg, that's running down to the switch and basically it's a series circuit to that coil. So the moment of truth is we're going to go ahead and open up all of these breakers, turn on our main 120 amp, our 100 amp service here, and then we're going to turn on that breaker that's our switch to turn on and off the system. We're going to turn on this 60 amp breaker, which is basically the protection again for the whole system. And then this is just for the contactor. Turn that on. And if everything works correctly, when I flip the switch, this motor is going to start and it will generate the third phase. Here we go. There it is. Bang. Motor spinning. Now, I do need to put a guard on that motor. So, 
Boy, it started right up. There was no hesitation at all. So basically, all I need to do now is install the wall socket that I can run over to my table saw, my radio arm saws, and my milling machines and stuff like that. It all runs off three-phase. So that's it. Thanks for watching.